ever wonder what I do behind the scenes when I update my website? There actually really isn't that much to it. Just a lot of time consuming. First thing I use is WordPad, as you can tell. Open a file. Uh, first thing I usually do is the headlines. They are my favorite part of the update. This gets annoying. It's always set to rich text format. There's no option for HTML or SHTML, so I have to go to all documents. Then I scroll over to where the latest ones are. And in this case, it's April 2008, since that's the last time I did my website update. I open it. Lots and lots of random mess. In a way. But, go save it under another name. The most current one. Joel. J-U-L. First three letters of the month. That's how I use the months, anyway. That's July. Since this is, after all, July 11. 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. Okay, so the first thing I do when I do the headlines, I keep this move it down a bunch add some little notations up here this is to separate everything from little side notes and then a list of various headlines that I know of like this one Final Fantasy 7 they're just general proposals as to the title of the headline Final Fantasy 7 Full game and, and I keep missing the key. <laughs> Don't you just love that when you miss? Stumped on my 2D game. TV Tuner Round 1. Draw. TV Tuner Round 2. I won. And of course, I just keep on continuing on. July 4. Of course, I can just keep on going. But let's see, July 4. Yes, lake visit. I've got videos of that to be posted. Yet to be processed as of the time I made this video. You may have seen in part one that I have a bunch of papers with a bunch of notes and stuff on it. Dreams and just what's been going on. That's pretty much all it is. Just a few lines per day, usually. In brackets, I put in little notes. Like, for example, headline. Example. Something like this in my notes would represent, you know, that I have an idea for a potential headline. And it's just sort of a reminder to let me post it. Nothing to it, really. Sometimes I may have notes off the side. So, missed dot. Nice aim, isn't it? So, for the headlines, now these are the daily entries. For the headlines, I don't have to open up another file and copy the format. Special searching. I would assume this. I just need to get the style format. Just copy paste. I always press Control plus C twice. One, sometimes I might not press the key all the way in a second just to make sure of it. Some programs like words tend to pop up a little notice and it gets a little annoying. So I do that just once there. K 
Okay, so back open the original file, put the template in, remove the t title, and instead of a number here, X. Gotta make sure I have the BRs at the end for break roll. That gives new lines. Here's the color to signify the significance of the event. Why do I use this dark gray color? Then my background here is actually 303030. You might be wondering why I use this. One reason, it sticks out. If I forget to set the color, for example, I'll know because I tend to catch anything odd or unusual. But this is my template. Now, to get lots and lots of copies to base on the template, copy and hold the paste button down. Lots and lots. Of course, they usually don't go that extreme. And since this is for July, you might be wondering how the daily entries are set up. Well, they aren't much different. Okay, first get the format. I leave out the number intentionally, because there's a reason for it shortcut. Set the same four zeros here, but here I need another template. Originally I mentioned of the, having the current song, but I've noticed that it has a pretty strong negative effect on my motive, so I'm getting, going to be getting rid of that aspect. But I'm still keeping this, because that goes by fast. Woke up at, went to bed at. It originally started as an experiment to find out what my sleep-wake cycle is based on. I now know of it as 25 and two-thirds hours. Give or take a little bit here and there, of course. But this is the basics for the template. Of course, gotta have the BR so I can separate them. Here, two spaces, there's four spaces here. One, two, three, four. See? I do this so I can start typing here, so I don't have to bother with adding extra spaces at the end or adding confusion and, th and such. So you might be wondering, why, when do I put the number in here? Well, time to make use of my hypercount ability. What's well, hypercount? It's a special ability I have that allows me to count much faster than most anyone can normally do. I've explained it on my site, of course. So, copy that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's for 10 items there. Add a spare, just in case. So now, here's where the numbers go. Fast, ain't I? That's the reason for that. Okay, remove the spare. The spare is just in case I miss. Okay? And I do the same thing here. And of course, you might notice that I'm leaving the one out here. Well, shortcut. July is 31 days, so I know I need four. I memorize the days, how many days are in each and every month, including the system for February. I've done so many calculations with it, you kind of memorize it. But, that's all there is to that. But, for the last day, add another BR at the end. See, now I'm pretty much done. Although some days are going to end up being left out because of my ever-shifting sleep-wake cycle not being exactly 24 hours, I end up deleting some. They aren't deleted here for one reason. I don't know what days are going to be deleted until I get to doing the daily entries. But, this is the template. These, I can now remove. All of this, I can remove. Because this is for, supposedly, April, but I don't need that. And, that's basically the template. Now I just start inserting values. <laughs> 